Okay, this is going to be a quick video. We're just taking a look at the KR4 here versus the D4S V2. The only reason why I got a KR4, this could have been a D4 V2. And, then, and think of it like that. Think of it like a D4 V2 versus a D4S V2. And the purpose of this video is to look at the tint switching or the channel switching. These are both dual channel drivers, but mainly to see how the very narrowest emitters and the very floodiest emitters work with the smaller tier that's available on the D4 V2 or KR4 in this case, and then the larger tier that's available on the D4S V2. So what we got here is we got two lights that have W1 Osram W1 emitters, and those are the throwiest, smallest emitters you can get. So that would be the throwy side of both of these. And then the floody side is the Samsung LH351Ds, and they're supposed to be in 5700K. Now, why are they supposed to be? Well, let's take a look at the KR4 really quickly, the D4V2 here. And so when I turn it on, you'll see that I'm in a floody mode right now, and you'll see the color tint. And by the way, my white balance is locked at daylight, so 5000K. So this is 5,700, okay, it's very floody. You can see how that looks. Now I'm gonna to switch to the throwy channel. So click, click, hold, and that's the W1, okay? And there you go, and I'm at the top of ramp. Let me just double check, yep, I'm at the top of ramp. I am not using the 200% power though. I'm one channel or the other. So let's take a look at how that looks on the light itself. So here, let me focus in on that. Here is the Osram at low ramp, and then click, click, hold, and there is the LH351. Yeah, there it is, and then back to the Osram. Just flicking back and forth, so you see how that works. Okay, so let me, so we're on the Samsung, oh no, we're on the Osrams right now. Somehow I got mixed up while I was doing that. So there's the Osrams. But I guess the point here, and why I told you that the emitter was supposed to be 5700, and it is on this light, is the point is to emulate the same exact color temperature. And all we're really doing here is just kind of faking that the emitter is turning into a spotlight or not. Now, I do agree there's a slight color and tint shift. So at least on this copy of the light, the Osram W1's a little greener and the Samsung's pretty rosy. That's what I'm noticing, okay? So that's uh, Samsung 5700s. Now, I love this light so much that I said, you know what, I want even more throw. Uh, let's see how the same emitters do in a D4S. So I just received this from Hank, and I had ordered this as W1s, okay? So let me turn it on here. So there's the W1, and you can see how throwy it is. It makes a huge difference in this large tier, okay? Huge difference. And then click, click, hold, and there's the floody Samsung. Now, here's the problem. Hank messed up. Even though it clearly says on my order that it should be 5,700, this is actually 5,000. So Samsung 5,000s. And so what you're going to notice here is that it's much warmer and actually much greener. So this is kind of a cool white over here on the D4 or the KR4. And then over here, it's kind of a kind of a greener and warmer situation. So when you uh, switch between them, I think it's a little less convincing. So I'm going to have uh, Hank try and solve that. I don't know if I'm going to get new emitters and reflow them or what I'm going to do. But anyways, um, so let's wrap up. First off, if you want maximum throw, Go with the large tier. Go D4 SV2. Um, I do find this one even a little more floody, but I also find that this one's pretty darn floody. So let's go flood to flood. You see how we got it right in the middle here? If I put on that tree, I mean, you can see how it looks. Now here's the... Oh, I already had it on. Here's the KR4. You see it's it's actually much floodier. And then I put on the tree. So uh, again, smaller tier. You're going to have more flood and less throw. Here you have um, more throw, less flood. So depending on what you want, you get one or the other. Hope that's helpful. Um, and also I hope it illustrates why getting the 5700K Samsung is probably better for the tint switching. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.